Hello! We are here with Metroid Prime for the Nintendo GameCube. Uh, I'm Jeff Gaines and Games, and this series, I think, is going to be uh, kind of a routing tutorial. Uh, we're going to go through some standard race seeds to start, um, and I will be explaining my thought process. Um, not maybe the fastest movement-wise, but routing usually have some pretty good ideas so uh this is just going to be for new players who are looking at kind of like how they got to develop their mind to start like thinking about a few things so uh we'll try to run it in uh real time uh but i'll occasionally pause the timer to just explain something that's happening like if there's a huge thing that i have to explain i'll pause just so we can get kind of like an accurate rta because ideally these decisions are like happening like lickety split um so yeah without further ado let's uh let's get started and i know for a fact there will be a pause basically off the start because uh, a big routing decision comes in pretty much with our first check so any standard weekly seed is going to have you starting with space jump first and getting the al item in alcove um there's only two locations open uh at the start of the game and that's alcove and hive totem so we're always gonna check this first and we're always gonna <laughs> mess up this dash when you're feeling rusty oh my god so Depending on what this item is, is really going to impact the rest of our routing. And it is wave buster. I don't even know why I hopped in. Okay, so we got to go to Hive Totem. Uh, we're also going to take some time to scan off this. That is Space Jump Boots. Uh, so occasionally, if that is a missile, uh, we like to scan that just to see if that's our logical launcher or not. But in this case, it's Space Jump. So we will be getting coming back there pretty quickly. Um, so ideally, you do some scan dashes here to go off the uh, zoomers. Have scan visor up. And you can dash towards the elevator. Okay, so we gotta start making notes of what is in uh, Chozo Ruins and Main Plaza specifically, because uh, Morph Ball is or not Morph Ball, uh, Space Jump will allow us to get pretty much all of these. Uh, you can either scan off of that or off the Beetle. We've got bombs up there. We've got a missile there. And an artifact up there. Okay. So I'm thinking that this is going to be, this is either going to be Missiles or Morph Ball. Um, I'm not even going to bother looking at what that item is behind me because we're going to see it on the way back, guaranteed. Hive Totem, there's our missile, and we're going to do a nice simple scan dash to get past this guy, and that is our logical launcher. We'll take some more missiles while we're here. So a couple more locations that um, our next progression could be now. Um, we're going to head back to... Uh, Rune Gallery. So, first things first, we're going to go up to this little block here. Until we pop up it. Go on. This is good enough. Uh, we're going to shoot a missile, turn to the side, and you can peek that item. That was a missile. And this is our Morph Ball. Fantastic. So, we are going to now take a save warp in... Uh, ruined nursery 
uh, and get our space jump boots ASAP. Especially since we know uh, bombs are in main plaza, and that is a power bomb up there. So honestly, we might we might try to get that. And apparently, I didn't press L and R. So so warp to start. We want space jump boots ASAP. Like we cannot de uh, delay that. go and actually while we're here should have stayed in morph we're going to check um for a crash site it's a good time to do it we've got missiles we've got morph and space jump I only know how to do the slope consistently, so. Just some missiles, so. Nothing important, but uh, early missiles can be nice just so that you have a little bit more damage output. And I gotta try to remember to <laughs> stay fast while I'm talking here. Uh, so with missiles and space jump and all that stuff, we're also going to grab our artifact hints now because uh, we want to know what's coming up. Now there's two schools of thought which, with uh, how to read artifacts. Um, I vary my artifact reading depending on when I get, when I actually get them. Um, if I found missiles first, I would be more inclined to read them right away because that means we could rule out uh, doing things like uh, transport tunnel B and um, transport tunnel B and what's the other thing? Uh, ruined. Oh, it's the room with morph ball. That one. <laughs> anyways, my brain's shutting off already. Oh boy. Um, so, anyways, we're going to actually read these on our way to. Um, Back to Chozo. I'm going to decide to forego the um, Transport Tunnel B check for now, as well as uh, Root Cave and Arbor Chamber. Uh, we are going to get bombs first and do more of Chozo. Uh, this way, when we do Arbor Chamber, uh, we have a little bit more safety. Um, we are going to do some more intermediate to advanced tricks, probably, when they come up, but uh, we're not going to um, we're not going to do anything crazy. We'll try to stick to logic as close as we can in most cases. Uh, so we're just going to come over here and peek the tree real quick, and that is an E-tank, so no worries there. It's will be nice to have if we pick up an early um, we pick up early supers but doubtful uh, so rolling through these rooms is good uh, you don't take any damage from the scarabs another E for us that's nothing And we'll take the missile. So from here, uh, I'm gonna grab that power bomb, 
and then we're going to head to Vault afterwards. Oops. Way off to the side here. So yeah, usually you want to be L-jumping or rolling at minimum. So if you land on this branch, you can actually stay up here. It's usually not too specific. I don't know why. Struggling with this. There we go. That skips the majority of this puzzle. And remember, we peaked to Rune Gallery, so we actually don't have to go back there, which is amazing. So we're going to go to Vault, and then we're going to go into Mid Chozo. Okay, thanks game. And that is Varia. Okay, very good. So, a couple options have opened up to us now. Um, we got access to Magmor, which makes me inclined to go that way as our next progression. However, there's just so many checks in mid Chozo that I don't think this is the correct time to bail out on it. is nice because if we decide to uh, warp back to start at some point um, Arbor Chamber and uh, Root Cave can be gotten now and we can route into Magmor which is really nice Now, we're going to uh, do a gathering hall here, because wave beam's here, sweet. Uh, so we like doing this now in case this is uh, spider ball, because that means we could do uh, upper dynamo. It's not, but it is a wave beam, so that is a sweet find. And is another good reason why we didn't go into magma right off the bat. Whoops. Almost fell there. There's a nothing there. And we're actually going to fall back down here. And... Scan this. It's a missile. Uh, if that's spider ball, again... Uh, we want to find that out now. And there is a way to do a peek for this out of bounds, but uh, we're going to try to keep this mostly beginner friendly. Um, and that one is a little bit more advanced. So we'll get a missile and we will come back to this later if <laughs> we find spider. Uh, at the next elevator, we're probably going to check hints, uh, now that we've got a couple of a couple of beams, we've got Varia, we've got access to a lot of areas, so.
couple more rooms to go in Chozo. What actually we might do is we might carry this all the way to um to antechamber. Kind of slow, but uh, if vanilla ice is there, it's not great. So being able to get that on this pass would be amazing. Whoops. I always do this wrong. <laughs> Anyways, uh, hit the first one on Zoid and then uh, come back here and do this while the next phase starts up. Use that down time for something productive. Oh my god, got launched. So it alternates, uh, you know, north and south and then east and west. So 90 degrees apart. So if you just line yourself up once you know where the first one is. So with Wave and Varia, that's a lot of uh, fan access we have available. But we are going to finish off this direction first. Just normal gameplay right now. Um, coming up is the weirdest standable in the game. Don't hel hold L here. Just kind of walk and jump into this corner. If you hold L, it will not work. The weirdest standable beginner in the game. Uh, we come over to this little raised spot so we can take a peek there. And it's just a missile. No one cares. Switch to wave beam. Just a missile. And we'll use some standables to get up here. And time to fight the ghost. Do kind of a sloped L jump up here. Save you time walking around the room. Unfortunately, we since we've triggered the ghosts and are doing the wave slot, um, we will have to fight the ghosts next time. 
if we want to look at the ice beam uh, slot, but that's fine. We'll, we'll burn that bridge when we get to it. It's not massively common to have progression in here, so I'm fine with making this play. We are going to scan that for later use. And that is an artifact. Okay, so this is cool. This is one of our first tricks we'll be able to do. So because we've picked up that um, that power bomb, we're going to be able to lockpick this item. And so what we're going to do is shoot the door. It loads. We're going to jump away from the door. And then we're just going to lay a power bomb and roll in. get across the room and when you come back the door magically opens no ice beam required so there we go that's a uh, a big old time save there we don't have to backtrack for this uh, we're actually gonna write down artifacts right now so make sure you've got your pen and pencil ready cuz we got ice ruins east usually do more than one at a time Plasma processing, warrior shrine. Plasma processing. And of course my pen isn't working. So give me one second. Plasma processing. Uh, warrior shrine. Transport tunnel B. So yeah, see if we read, if we got. Uh, that's one, two, three. Yep, sweet. Uh, if we got missiles early and got those hints right off the bat, I would say look at them immediately because that that way you know you don't have to go down to transport tunnel B until later. So my calculations paid off. Uh, we're going to save to refill our ammunition as well. It's just good to save um, so that you in case you soft lock or die <laughs> which uh has been known to happen in these games so uh take some precautions maybe your game crashes or something just just don't be afraid to save <laughs> only takes a couple seconds so we've got no Grapple, no uh, x-ray, so this is not logical, but uh, this is a fairly easy trick, especially if you just spam uh, shots, if you forget where they are. And then from here, we're going to do the Arbitrator wall crawl, which is baby's first wall crawl. And with, uh, with bombs and morph, it's pretty trivial. Not trivial, but we're just going to line ourselves up. And you can just jump forwards and right into the hole. And there is our Phazon suit. And this door, thankfully, is blue on this side. So now we can head down. Uh, so... With Phazon Suit, we no longer have to worry about hints, which is fantastic. So it's going to be an artifact. So we know Plasma Processing is one, and we know Ice Ruins East. And Warrior Shrine. So we can get Warrior Shrine. Plasma Processing is good, because we don't have to um, worry about that being something important. Uh, let's see. Ice Runes East could be rough if it's locked by, um, if it's locked by, what's it called? Uh, Spider Ball. I have a personal vendetta against that, uh, location. But we're going to head into Fiery Shores, check what this item is, and it's Boost Ball. Wow. Okay. Fantastic. So that is a good grab. 
uh, not uh, not gonna pick up the plasma processing item yet. And that's just a missile down there. Can try to be rolling. Um, okay, so a couple options here. This is kind of a hard one to route at times. Um, because I, the best way to route early Magmore is from Sun Tower. And so if you're coming in from Fiery Shores, it just kind of... It's a little stinky to route back to Lava Lake. That being said, it's a bunch of checks down there, so we will... It's still early game. We're still missing uh, a lot of beams, so we want to be a little bit more thorough. there. Yeah. If you get that dash, good. I'm not going to waste my time <laughs> uh, doing the slope jump for missiles, though. Oh, and I've got to remember to use boost ball now. Don't forget the items you just picked up. Don't care. Spin out of the Triclops. Alright, Lava Lake, and then we get to make our way back to Fendrana. Little bit of lava never hurt anyone. Actually, we'll take that. <laughs> I mean, not uh, not critical to our routing now, but will help with uh, final bosses. Got an unfortunate hit there. So what I'm thinking now is we're going to go through Friend of Fen, and what we want to see is Plasma Beam. Plasma Beam will get us a lot of... Uh, a lot of checks, and we also just don't want uh, Ice Beam first, because that means Plasma can basically be anywhere, and it's just... It's, it's not great. So... We want to... That's what we're hoping for, at least. Another free power bomb. We take those... So we're going to go Ice Ruins. Actually, no, we're going to do... I think we're going to do Chozo Ice Temple first, because if that's... If that's Plasma Beam, then we get a bunch of checks on the way out. That is a nothing up there. So I'm... Way off base. Thank you. I 
because I'm not too concerned about leaving Chozo Ice Temple behind. our plasma beam. Rapid fire missiles will make quick work of these guys. And then we've got an extra power bomb. Be required. So, yeah, now Ice Beam would be appreciated. Because luckily, Ice Beam locks a lot of the game. So, like, Wave Beam is unlocks like the middle third and then ice beam unlocks the second or no wave beam unlocks the second third and then ice beam lost like, the last third so so there's a, a good chunk of the game that's locked to us and now uh we can get all these early uh fendrana checks On no artifact. <laughs> Damn. All right, so we're we're gonna need to find Spider Ball. Grapple beam. Sure. Spider Ball. So we're going to route Fen Canyon first, and then do Ice Runes West. That's nothing over there. So time to get out of here. It would be really nice to be able to grab that, uh, that fifth artifact right now, but... Honestly, we've got to come back uh, to plasma processing, so there's just a there's a chance that we might uh, find spider somewhere convenient. Trying to do this trick backwards is a pain sometimes. Nope. Try to land on this lip uh, so you don't have to waste your time. And there is our super missiles. So that's getting closer to logical Thardis access, which is not cool. Uh, I did not mean to jump over here. Sorry, brain shot off there for a second. 
So yeah, we could go through Thardis, but um, we don't have Thermal yet, and I'm kind of chasing this up. We're running out of places for Ice Beam to be. Whoops. And checking labs is kind of kind of a rough one, but if we find ice in here, then we get bailed out. We just found supers as well, which is nice. So we can actually full clear and grab lab hydra while we're here. Why did I think I had to power bomb this? <laughs> oh, there's our ice beam. Uh, so we still need spider. So that's unfortunate. I always turn the wrong way in this room, guaranteed. Okay, so spider could just about be anywhere now, which is rather crappy. So we don't want to do this puzzle, so we'll just do a dash. The nice thing is we don't have to worry about saving here because uh, we've got spider ball, so fantastic. Or not spider ball, wave beam, oh my god. Uh, although grabbing some health may have been good, depending on your comfortability. Uh, we do have phase on suit, so we got a whole pile of damage reduction. Upcoming is the control tower room. Uh, we're going to avoid the fight trigger by just barely stepping into the room, jumping backwards, and then jumping over said fight trigger. That alone will save you like five minutes, so get used to doing that. Oh my god, there's spider ball. Okay, cool. That is, uh, <laughs> that's go mode. And I just accidentally boosted in the fight trigger. Oh my god, embarrassing. Okay, so there you go. Word of caution. Be, uh, a little bit cautious there. Thankfully we've got loads of weaponry, so not really a concern. As long as you got some missiles, this fight's usually not too bad. But yeah, as you can see, like even with us fully decked out, it's kind of a pain. Uh, so we're actually gonna go backwards here because yeah, the other way is... F Actually, hold on. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I've changed my mind. Changed my mind. We're going to go forwards and hopefully maybe get a few more items on the way. Perhaps we can get some E-Tanks or something. Uh, we're going to take the elevator into... Uh, into... Magmore... And that will get us uh, plasma processing, and then we can take the monitor station elevator and save warp up there. So I, I like that.
What's our main power bombs? Um, honestly, might get it just for like the Metroids. And it's just on the way, so whatever. Uh, from here, we need to head this way. Shoot this. Uh, shoot the ice, and then open. Very cool. Switch to wave and scan this. And I think I might just take a health refill real quick because I don't think we're going to die to pirates, but let's just pretend we're playing a little extra safe. Not even gonna bother looking at this item because uh, it's slow to get this one. So we're gonna be skipping the spider ball puzzle here, of course. This is like a mandatory knowledge thing for uh, beginner racers. You do a slope jump on that first bit to skip that spider. And then there are some faster ways to do this, but uh, the most consistent way and safest way is just get a slope onto this guy. Almost fell there. Aw, it's a little baby artifact of strength. Uh, not really any good ways of scanning there, so... in a different room. I swear I played this game. So this is a fun room. Whoops. Not when you get launched up like that. Whoops. Okay. Messed it up. But whatever, we're going moderately fast still. That's usually what you have to do, is go moderately fast. It's probably someone who's faster than you. I know there are for me, at least. <laughs> but as long as you can make good routing decisions, you can make up a lot of time. Eliminating backtracking is crazy powerful. Alright, pick up our last artifact and head to final bosses. Not a lot of health. That's okay. We 
We've done it with less. Ugh. This little standable man. Get up. There we go. Alright. Hopefully if you made it this far, uh, I've done a decent job of explaining my thinking. Uh, this is my first time just trying to focus on explaining, so... Hopefully I'll improve uh, in the next one, because I want to do a couple of these. A um, couple things to note about this seed. Uh, we don't have any of our visors, so Essence is going to be a little bit of a pain. But I don't think it's worth sticking around to, uh, to look for them. If they're on the way, they're great to pick up, but uh, you definitely shouldn't be like full clearing a seed for them. Wait. And now we have our Ridley fight. corner which will help manipulate Ridley's AI when it lands we got boost It's charge, shot in the mouth, and then missiles. And on the third one, you get a f time to do a free 360, so please do so. A little bit of manual aiming up there, and of course we get an invulnerability. Neat. And of course, now we get the... All right, just one dash, that's fine. And on to Impact Crater. Uh, we didn't take a lot of damage, so I'm not gonna bother refilling our health. We're going to do the quick climb for phase on core, which is a slope jump onto a series of standables. And I'll, ideally, we don't get messed up like that. That's, that's on me. I should have just taken a little slower. That's a really bad climb for me. But hopefully you will do better in your runs. So we got power and wave. Good, good opener. Get that 
the wave charge ready. We're going to try to bait out as many of these melee attacks as we can. So wave power ice coming up. Wave first is not what we want to see. Wave is the uh, slowest damage dealer. Sure, you can be a little bit more consistent with your shots and stuff, but we like damage here. Because of my health, I'm gonna do the chicken way, get the turnaround shots. I'd actually love these drops. Now, I don't have a lot of missiles to work with, so I'm actually gonna save some for the next phase. Hitting charged ice shots really isn't that bad. Now we can get this. Skip a lot of this wave phase. And now it doesn't really matter if it's plasma or ice. that mess that one up panicking about trying to get the uh, the drops there but on to the final phase nice opener Here's where those missiles come into play. And we're going to use another ice spreader shot here. is exo done. Uh, those will despawn, so there's no worries there. And time for essence. The vis visorless essence. Uh, so we're going to stand still. And because we got no visors, I'm inclined to... Um, I'm inclined to do as much of the pool cancels as we can. Just kind of get as much damage as we can out of each pool. come over here and stay on our safety stick. You can use some uh, audio cues or you can also use scan visor. Visorless Essence, something I have not practiced. 
So I'm definitely losing time to most runners here. good amount of damage though get back to our stick because we don't want essence near the corpse over there now stink at this. How'd you get over there? Yeah, it's just this, this is not the fight for me. So, losing a lot of time, but losing a lot of time to um, finding visors too. So, trade-offs. We'll definitely be getting it on the next... Uh, Uh, combat visor pool. Ugh. Sorry for the little bit of a slog here at the end. So, here's a note for myself. Practice this because uh, I could easily lose a race. Like, this is so slow. Our timer says that we're going fast, but, like, someone else could have been finished probably at, like, the 50-minute mark now at this point. That's time, 57.01. Nice. I mean, fast seed, we didn't even need to touch uh, phase on mines, so. Like, I don't think uh, the speed of play was necessarily the best, so, like, the time probably could have got way down, especially if you didn't need to do a second pass for Ice Rin's, uh East, um, if you're good with the uh, complex bomb jumps, which I am not. But uh, let's uh, let's check out where our visors were. Um, so yeah, we got Varia. I'm trying to think of some of the early choices. We got Varia, decided not to stick around in Chozo. Got uh, got Wave Beam. Took it to the back of Chozo, where we got an artifact, which we could have gotten after. Like that could have been our last artifact, realistically, and it wouldn't have been too bad. Um. We also have, so we went into Fen, got Plasma, Plasma into Supers in Rune Courtyard, and Ice Beam in, yeah, I, th I think, like, all in all, routed that really well. Uh, I'm happy with the result. Uh, sub hour Seed is always good. Uh, and with that, we'll uh, just take another peek at the items. And then after that, we will see you next mission at some point. Security Cave and Chosen Ruins Dynamo. So X-Ray was an upper dynamo. So yeah, never going to get that. Fendrin Security Cave. We could have done Farfen if we were still missing things, but we weren't. So, uh, yep. All this was good. Gravity was in Sun Chamber, either on Ghost or Plant.
And then artifacts. Very cool. GG's. Let's see what our final in-game time was. Not that it really matters since we race with RTA. And uh, I'll post the seed hash if you want to try, or just like for reference. Um, but yeah, there's the RDV version there. Yeah, total time, 51 minutes IGT. Sweet. That actually might be, I don't know what my fastest prime seed is, but that's definitely getting there. Uh, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next mission. Uh, we'll do more of these routing guides. Hopefully I improve on my explanations of what's going on up here um or of course we get a more complicated seed where i actually have to think more because this one was pretty straightforward anyways see you later